Okay, come on, B-roll. All right, y'all. Okay, so I'm not a professional or anything. So I'm really just going off of what I see my nail techs do when I get a manicure or when I see other people get a manicure. And during this quarantine, my nails have been... <laughs> struggling i'm pretty sure you've seen the set already in the intro of this video but i'm gonna show it to you when i'm ready to put them on um usually when i hold on let me put some music on just so it can be in the background a little bit so <clears throat> the last time i put press on nails on i used <clears throat> I used um, nail glue but because these are so expensive um, you a loud, because these are so expensive I'm not really trying to um, you know have them all cruddy from the nail glue so I'm gonna use the little sticky things that she sent me but since I'm giving myself a manicure I got this little um Manny and Petty kit from Walgreens I'm using the Sally Hansen cuticle remover and some CND oil on my cuticles at the end there's nothing in the water by the way it's just hot water again I'm not a nail tech so this isn't like a professional manicure or a professional application. I'm just doing what I think I need to do to prep my nails for these press-ons. It is currently, uh, it's almost 8.30 p.m. My sleep schedule has been fucked as I'm sure some of y'all's has been too due to the quarantine. And Let's see, I went to bed at like 5 a.m. this morning. Woke up at about, what time did I wake up? I woke up at 9.30 and I made myself breakfast, which was bomb. Then I played Pokemon, went to sleep at like one something, woke back up at six. And decided that I wanted to pamper myself. So I gave myself a facial. I might insert some clips of me doing that here. Who knows? So I gave myself a facial. I took a really nice. Well, I took a really nice hot shower first. Then I gave myself a facial. and Which was much, much needed. Because my skin has kind of been going through it, y'all. It's like the stress of this life is too much. But yeah, so I gave myself that. And then put on like got myself ready and stuff and I was like let me just do my nails today because I already braided I was waiting to braid my hair so I braided my hair like two days ago and so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just take this little tool and push my cuticles back I'm trying to make sure I stay in the frame for y'all but yeah so I did all that and <clears throat> my I don't even know what to call this nigga Cause he's not my boyfriend this guy i'm dating there we go boom this guy i'm dating called me while i was like taking my nap and of course i wasn't gonna answer usually i would right oh look at them cuticles usually i would have answered i would have woke up in that moment of waking up answer the phone but then i realized like when I do that to him, he doesn't answer the phone. So I let that bitch ring and I went back to sleep. So I went back to sleep. And then when I woke up, he texted me at like almost seven. And I opened the, my re receipts are on. I opened the message. But I didn't um, reply because I was about to get in the shower. I was about to get in the shower. So I didn't reply. And then while I was in the shower, he called me. I can't answer the phone when I'm in the shower now. That's crazy. <laughs> so.
So I decided, well, when I get out the shower, after I finish pampering myself, I'll give him a call back. But because I had my read receipts on, he was feeling away. And it's just like, sir, at this point, I'm just treating you how you treat me. Right? I'm treating you how you treat me. You don't like it, then treat me better. Like, I'm done. I, my thing is, I know we're like taught in kindergarten, treat people the way you want to be treated, right? Which I did. But I can only do that for so long until you're not treating me how I'm treating you. So, clearly, let's switch gears and I'm going to treat you the way you treat me. Also, if you can't tell, my nails are pretty janky. I'm right-handed, so me trying to like push these cuticle back, these cuticles back on my right hand is a little challenging. Wow. But this tool is amazing. It's really pushing them things back. Move that up a little bit so I can rest my hand right here. Here we go. Had to wait till I got in focus. But yeah, I mean, that's my thing. I'm sick and tired of men like thinking they can do certain things and then it be okay. Like I'm supposed to just act the exact same way I was before. No, I've expressed what my problem is. If you're not going to fix it, then I'm going to just go about my business and treat you how you're treating me. The hell? I know we're supposed to like be productive and stuff during this quarantine and I feel like I am. Unfortunately though, I'm not like, I'm not like, um, so I'm gonna take these cuticles off. I'm gonna start with my thumb. Unfortunately though, I'm not uploading every week like I thought I would be. I was going through a really rough, like, I need paper towel, hold on y'all. Yeah, I was feeling, I'm not gonna say depressed. Well, I was feeling depressed, I was feeling sad. And, wow, look at that dead skin just sitting on top of my nail. And, I wasn't feeling it. I was not feeling like recording at all. It's just like, I don't know. It was a bad, bad feeling. Which, I'm glad out of, I'm out of that now. Like, at a time like this, it don't matter if you Republican, Democratic, liberal. We're all just, <clears throat> now it's like, okay, we're all humans. Granted, there are some idiots out there that are trying to open shit early. And it doesn't need to be. Like, it's not safe. All I'm gonna say is I'm praying for y'all in Georgia because, and I'm praying for people here in Chicago too because they're allowing spas to open. Like, I don't understand. There's this spa called Blue Mercury here in Chicago. They do hair, makeup, and um, you know, facials. And it's just so confusing to me. Like, how are you essential? You doing people makeup is not essential, bro. It's not essential at all. Not one bit. I don't get it. So basically, here's the set. So these are the Bob Ross that I ordered. It's two different paintings. This was 550 because eight nails have a design. I just um, finished like, um, I just finished filing the nails off of the edge of my bed and now I'm just like roughing up my actual nail beds a little bit with the nail file that she provided me and she gave me stickies to put on my nail beds too so the nails can stay on so I'm almost done just roughing up my beds just a little, not too much to where it's like thinning them out too bad. Okay, there we go. 
so now it says this is for the left hand so let me just double check and apply this orange one to this thumb compared to this yep so this side is for my left hand it's like a perfect fit so these are custom they're custom now I'm gonna use a sticky that will fit on my thumb Fit it here on my thumb to the edge boom boom okay peel this plastic back so it's off boom so the plastic is off and now I'm going to adhere my first nail Wow, that's perfect. Perfect. Okay. And let me say that these nails do feel like great quality. Um, it seems like she took, I guess, like clear press saw nails and added a layer or two of acrylic to excuse me to thicken it up but um yeah it's really nice i think i'm gonna shuffle oh my smooth chilling 2.0 i haven't listened to that in a minute all right bet so we got the thumb on now i'm going to measure which fits my finger best looks like this one right here and adhere to the edge boom and and now we're just gonna press down on the edges slide up oh that's kind of crooked it's cool just gonna shift it like that bam oh my god I got cute nails y'all Look at my nail. Uh, can you see? Wow. the CND oil and just put it on the edges of my nails if you don't follow me on Instagram uh what you doing with your life I mean okay let me stop being like that because I hate when people say shit like that like bitch I'm living my life like it's golden even though I'm not following you on the gram but if you would like to follow me on Instagram and see what kind of outfits I curate and what shoes I pick up definitely go ahead and do that because I mean I don't post my outfits for real here on the tube so if you'd like to see those things and watch my story like what I do on a day to day basis during the quarantine that's definitely a place where you can go ooh with my nails like this I hope I can still take pictures and organize my clothes for my depop shop anywho let me put some lotion on my hands real quick and i'll be right back oh wow these look good oh bitch i'm moisturizing shit now Ow. <laughs> okay anywho so this is the finished product oh so fire right like legit paintings legit works of art on my hands like Wow. 
Viv, you really did your damn thing, girl. Okay, let's get this B roll going. Mm hmm. Oh, nani, nani. This feel like a quaalude. Don't sleep in my body. Ain't no bitch in my body. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll catch you on my next one. I'm about to get back to start talking with my hands and shit because, bitch, you can't feel me nothing. Look at my nails. Eh! Anyways, no, for real. Thank you so much. Shout out to Vivian. I'm going to put her Instagram down below so that way you can take a look at her work as well and place an order if you'd like. Um, especially during this quarantine, our hands are kind of suffering. If you're a girl like me that's used to getting her shit done, having it laid, slayed, and not spayed um i'll definitely leave that info down below for you guys but yeah oh i'm so in love they so cute they so long and they so mean will i order from her again probably not anytime soon to be honest only because bitch i ain't got money like that like i'm not broke but i'm not living the life of luxury where i can just drop 500 some dollars on some nails oh and there we go one coming off already see this is why i should have glued these bitches down wow the disrespect you see that it's cool i'm gonna put her back on all right thanks again peace bye